All right, so in the first section, we learned about the high level features of Teams Premium. And towards the end, Mark explained about the Teams Premium admin level features as well. In this part, Mark is going to help us understand the intelligent productivity part of Teams Premium, particularly live captions. And he's going to help us understand the main difference between Copilot license and Teams Premium license. Let's go and enjoy this part. So what I'm going to show now is a view of the intelligent recap capability inside of uh, Teams Premium. And this is a capability that I use uh, daily. Um, uh, and in fact, uh, the feedback that we get from a lot of our customers is this is a very, very powerful capability to help them really cut down the time uh, required to a uh, catch up on meetings and, and be take notes uh, for meetings. So this is uh, the Teams client and, and here I have a, a call uh, that is a, a monthly call that, that exists for our kind of community internally here at Microsoft. Um, and you can see here on the left hand side, I can click, uh, you know, uh, back to the, the history of this call. Um, this is going to be a very, very familiar experience for many of you. We've got the chat um, files, um, but when a user is licensed with Teams Premium, they get a recap tab. Now, this recap tab, um, uh, I think is yeah really cool. Um, firstly, uh, it's storing all of the assets uh, related to that meeting. So uh, we're talking about the uh, video, so the recording of the meeting. Um, uh, we're also capturing any content that was shared uh, inside that meeting. So PowerPoint decks, no longer do I have to go looking for you know, where was that deck that was shared uh, inside of this meeting. Um, I can just go back to the, the meeting reference, um, the chat history, hit the recap tab and, and the deck will be right there. In addition, uh, we break down here um, the speakers. Uh, so who spoke in this meeting? Uh, maybe I only care about you know, maybe what my boss had to say or my project lead had to say. I don't want to sit through an entire um, a section of a meeting just to, to uh, uh, hear my team lead for five minutes, right? Um, you know, in this instance, maybe I want to skip to um, what Bill had to say. Um, I can come down here and, and um, click on the very specific um, uh, timeline marker for what, when Bill was speaking, uh, and I can jump in and hit play uh, on that specific section. So really easily can I kind of jump through uh, in and around a, a Teams meeting. Um, we also break up um, not only speakers, but we break the meeting down into topics. Um, these are all topics which are determined by um, uh, by AI. Uh, so if you've got a slide, for example, um, with a title, uh, we might pull the, the title of the slide. If um, depending on what somebody says, excuse me, when they introduce a particular topic, um, we'll add it as a as a topic that was discussed here. Um, we also break down uh, the meeting into chapters. So um, you know, you can see here we started uh, product development and updates, and then we had some some discussions. Uh, and again, we can just um, simply and easily click through to the topics that we're interested in or the chapters that we're interested in. Um, in addition, we've got uh, some AI generated notes here. So this is using um, uh, the GPT language models to um, uh, to summarize what was discussed during that meeting. So you can see. Um, it's likely going to be blurred for many of you or for all of you, but uh, the, the meeting notes uh, do a really good job at summarising what was discussed in the meeting. Um, and then it's also determined some follow up tasks um, that show, uh, you know, if somebody used language uh, to suggest that there was a task to be done uh, and who it was to be done by, uh, it will be listed here in the task section. Um, we can also do things like look at at mentions. Um, this particular meeting, I wasn't mentioned um, uh, by name, uh, but if I was mentioned by name, uh, I'll have an at mention there and I can jump to that point in the recording to, to really just uh, quickly catch up on, on what it was that I missed. Um, and how long does this data is been retained, like this particular data, like the transcriptions and the recap, the files which have been uploaded, things like that? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna depend on uh, how long you retain uh, your on. transcripts and your recordings. Yeah. Okay. So um, most um, organisations have got a retention policy that that determines the the life cycle of these um, okay. types of assets. Cool. 
Um, the last thing I forgot to mention here um, is uh, we. I don't know whether we have it here, um, but typically um, uh, we we can jump out into uh, stream to view this, and and it will appear um, along the timeline markers here. And it's a capability that I use uh, really regularly to to consume technical content. So at Microsoft we often uh, have a barrage of, of content coming at us to keep us kind of um, trained and, and, and ready. Um, but typically the way I learn is by seeing what's going on. So uh, if I want to see when somebody started sharing their screen, um, we'll present a timeline marker here along, along the, the timeline that you can see here to indicate when, when a screen was shared. Oh um, right, that's, that's been yeah really powerful in in kind yeah. of accelerating the, the the way that I consume training content. Yeah. Um, and and lastly, uh, we can jump between uh, different meetings here too. So this, as I said, right. this is a monthly meeting. Uh, if I want to go back to to the meeting that happened um, in April, I can jump back to that particular meeting uh, as. So Any this... more questions? No, not on the recap. No. So when you have Teams Premium License, recap comes by default, right? It it does. Like, yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Talking about again the AI capabilities. One of the features is uh, live caption translation. So for a typical meeting uh, inside of Teams, you can translate that, or or you can put a a caption on that Teams meeting that um, just uh, captions the spoken language uh, in the same language that's being spoken. Um, if you are um, wanting to see a caption in an alternative in an alternate language, we can uh, use live translated captions. So um, here you can see a bit of a breakdown in the Teams client uh, what this looks like. So when you when you select the language, um, you can choose the spoken language and you can also change the caption language. Um, and here you can see, you can translate into a multitude of different languages. Um, I think, uh, yeah, we, we break down supportability for um, all of the languages here uh, and then the supported uh, translation languages um, uh, there. So really useful capability if you've got um, presence in in multiple countries. Um, I know that well, when we, when we uh, at Microsoft, when we we often deal with um, uh, audiences from, you know, as far west as India all the way through to to New Zealand, so uh, India, Southeast Asia, Japan, um, uh, to New Zealand. Okay, uh, you can see that now. Yeah. What are we going to look into next? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, come back to the question that you had about. Um, uh, Copilot and Teams oh, Premium. Right. Right. So uh, when we're talking about some of the, the features and capabilities in Premium, so that meeting recap capability um, is also licensed with Copilot for Microsoft 365. We're seeing a lot of organizations uh, look to leverage both depending on the scenario. So here, uh, you know, we, we might have um, Copilot for Microsoft 365. And for those who haven't seen it, uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365 allows you to um, introduce um, a, a generative AI capability inside of your Microsoft 365 apps. So inside of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Loop, Whiteboard, etc. cetera. Um, it, also, it also brings in a chat experience um, to help with information discovery and, and content creation, um, you know, being able to reason over content quite quickly. Um, so I might uh, even jump back to that that uh, meeting that I had opened before and, and show the difference. But um, when we're talking about Teams Premium, we're talking about a static recap of um, content inside of uh, Teams. So you can see here, we've got intelligent recap <clears throat> marked by this border on the left-hand side. Um, this is what I was just uh, walking you through earlier. And this is you know, the meeting notes and the follow-up tasks. Um, you know, the, the timeline markers that I was speaking about, that's all static content and won't change. Um, where we bring in Copilot to augment this experience is the ability to have a conversational style interaction with uh, a meeting that's either in progress or uh, happened in the past. So 
to be clear, um, Copilot for Microsoft 365 includes both experiences. So you'll see this intelligent recap capability uh, and you'll also get this Copilot um, uh, sidebar that, that you can um, use, as I said, during or post meeting uh, to have kind of a conversation. Um, I'll show you what that looks like quickly. I'm just gonna stop sharing. I'll jump back to um, the Teams window. All right, so uh, this is the, the meeting recap capability that I just walked you through. Um, but because I'm licensed for Copilot, I also have a, a Copilot button that appears here. Um, this allows me to uh, ask specific questions um, of this meeting. Um, and I, I've asked questions of it uh, in the past, um, things like, um, uh, were the new slash commands mentioned in this call? So at, at um, uh, build recently, we announced some additional slash commands inside of Teams to, to shortcut some of, um, uh, you know, the ability for, for someone to slash chat or, or do a whole bunch of different things inside of Teams without having to uh, shift your hand to a mouse, for example. Um, so I can ask, uh, as you can see here, were the new slash commands mentioned in this call? Uh, and it can, uh, reason over the transcript and give me an answer. So this goes even further um, uh, than, than the intelligent recap capability, bringing in the, the ability to, to reason over, uh, as I said, the transcript um, and other content uh, inside of that meeting. So jumping back um, just quickly to these uh, couple of slides here, um, uh, you, you can see kind of a, a bit of a workflow of, of how you might use uh, intelligent recap and copilot together. So again, if you're wanting to catch up on content uh, of a meeting, see at a high level what was discussed, um, skip to where somebody uh, was speaking. Uh, intelligent recap uh, inside of Teams Premium will give you that. Anytime you want to extend that across to being able to ask questions uh, about something specific inside of a meeting, uh, then that's when a co-pilot for Microsoft 365 license will be required. So hopefully that answers that question and, and clarifies that. That's a, a question we get quite, quite often. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, again, just to be clear, Intelligent Recap uh, comes as a part of a Copilot for Microsoft 365 license okay. as well. 